I wanted to do a quick video showing you what you are going to build in this uh, embedding Tableau video series. What I've also done is I pushed all of my code to my GitHub, so you can also get a finished result there. So uh, hopefully you're watching this uh, before you're going to start uh, the video course. Um, I'll put this in the uh, playlist as uh, basically number zero. So before we're starting to talk about what embedding is. And uh, this is the finished result of what we're going to build. I know the design might be a little bit underwhelming. Uh, we can see that we're using all the default browser fonts. We're using default um, browser like buttons and input boxes. But the aim of this course is not to teach you how to design a web page. Um, in this course, in this video series, I wanted to explain how you can integrate a Tableau dashboard into a web page. And we're starting all the way from building our own first uh, web page. So that's pretty cool. Um, things you are going to learn in, in this training is um, how to create buttons to, for example, click or hide or show the uh, visualization. Of course, we're going into how to put this visualization here and there are two different ways of doing that by copying the embed code or by using the Tableau JavaScript API. And the JavaScript API is actually what is powering these buttons. So the buttons that I'm using here, and uh, we can also generate a PDF and then we can um, uh, print this, for example, if you want to do that. You can also export an image. So what that allows you to do is it generates an image for you. And if you hit download, it will um, download that image and you can use it wherever you want. Um, this image will be off the dashboard. It won't be of the web page. Um, and we also have some uh, range filters here. So we can see in the Tableau dashboard on the right hand side here, we have a few filters, order date, profit ratio and region. But in here I have a filter that's actually looking for some filtering out sales values. So I can put in, um, I want to filter from 50 to say 1000, hit the apply filter and you can see it starts filtering this chart. So this is a way to communicate between the web page and your Tableau dashboard. Okay. So this is the finished product. Um, now you should go um, to uh, basically the very first video and have a look at how to build this. Um, if you want to have the finished code, I would suggest, um, however, I would suggest <clears throat> following along uh, with me. But if you go to um, this URL, github.com slash Andre, three, four, seven, and then go to Tableau Embedding. I'll put the uh, link in the video description as well. And in here I have the um, JavaScript file that has all the JavaScript in it, of course, and then the index HTML, which corresponds with what I have on the left-hand side of my screen here. In um, the first and the second video, we're talking about installing uh, a text editor. So I've put a link here to download my favorite one, and that's also the one you see on the left-hand side. Um, I also installed a custom theme. Um, there's no real need to install that, only if you like the theme. Um, what is essential to install is this live server, but we will um, look at that in um, the second video. And um, also what you see, whenever I hit save in my VS Code, it automatically kind of formats my code to look a bit nicer and easily um, um, readable. So that's what I'm using a tool called Prettier. All of this is of course free to download. Um, VS Code is free as well. Okay, having said that, um, enjoy and um, you can go to the very first video.